We do yeah. not hate Matt. Matt ranks me last. He's not going to tell me Ooh. anything. Oh, okay. What's up, fans? I'm Owen Holt. And I'm Markel Washington, and this is Awesomeness TV's Vibe Room, where we talk about any and everything, and we don't hold back. Her. That's right, Markel. And today, we are lucky enough to be joined by three of the stars from season two of a &I. So please welcome Matt Taylor, Eddie Preciado, and Naked Ace Anchor! Welcome to the show! <laughs> Matt, it is your first time here on Vibe Room, so how are you feeling? Very interesting. It's a lot of lights, a lot of fun, and vibes. I'm low-key. Sorry to interrupt you guys. I'm so excited for Matt to be on here. He's just so bougie. He had his little bottled water. I'm like, bitch, I'm all on a budget, so I usually mm -hmm. used to tap water, so to see it in a box, it was so cool. But Wait, do you have it right there? Wait, show the people. environment. Hide the label. Not sponsored, but, you know. There it is. Bottled. I love that. Saves the environment. Mm -hmm. Eddie, how are, you, how are you doing today? I'm excited to be here. I got my boy here, so yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, the duo's here. Well, I am extremely excited for today's episode, so let's get right into it. This episode was so crazy. I really want to know what was going on in your head. Eddie, you took the high road and apologized to Eileen about your attitude towards her on your date. And you both agreed that you guys are just better off as friends. And also in the rankings, Rave ranked dead last, while Jane climbed the ladder and ranked first. But nothing tops this episode when you guys played the game Most Likely 2, where you also had to do your rankings live in front of all of the yeah. other castmates. It got a little awkward, but I want to see it again, so let's roll the clip. I did Ace last because we didn't like talk at all today. You were like napping or something. That's literally the only reason. Okay, next up we have Eddie, just because we didn't talk that much once again. Um, next, Michelle, because I think she was sleeping too. I don't know where you where were today. Were you at today? I know. Where, where, where are you at? I was in the living room. I was playing Pac Man. Whoa! What a oh clip, Matt. You were kind of shady. Uh, what was going on? Why would you like rank these guys last? Okay, you have to put somebody last. And yeah, I said whatever. you were sleeping like a lot of the time. So you just like, you know, you weren't there. Yeah. And also I knew you wouldn't get mad. I was scared to put some other people last. Yeah. Man, I see you say Ace to be kind of like sleeping. So has Ace been like low key these past days or what? Yeah, honestly. I mean, it's not like a bad thing, but I feel like you were just chilling, like taking a little bit of me. <laughs> Everyone knew him in the house. He was the one in the house that was not anywhere to be seen. You know yeah. that. Matt, leading up to this moment, you've kind of stayed away from the drama and been out of it completely. So is this a part of your game? It's kind of pointless, to be honest. I just, I don't really want to be part of it but I don't have a game plan I'm just kind of chilling really? I should probably have a game plan. yeah and guys I really want to know uh, like what was the conversation like when y'all went up to ace after he got his account banned and y'all just went and like had a very intimate like conversation with a how like what made y'all do that it was a great conversation I mean we we just noticed that he was himself the whole show and and we accept him for that and we thought that was like that's like a big part like we see that and like we accept people that are themselves. We don't like people putting on like a fake personality for us or anything like that. So for him to do that, we saw that and we just wanted him to know like that, that's what we like. We, li we like to Positive see people, people like that and we, we wanted to let him know. That is so sweet guys because you would never think wor worlds like that would collide. Right. You would think uh, y'all would try to stay apart from each other. Exactly, it's not like that. Matt, I have been reading all of the comments on Next Influencer videos, and all of the comments are just about how much the fans love you. Like, literally, the fans are in love with you, Matt, so why do you think they're connecting with you so much and just love you that the way that they do? I have no idea. I read the comments, and I was like, what the hell, because I did not expect that, because I wasn't, like, part of much at all but I'm not mad at it at all. Like, thank you so much, viewers. Like, hello. Like, <laughs> hello. People keep saying that you have an AirPod. Like, yes, way. I really yeah. want to know, man. Just tell the truth. I do <laughs> too. Yes, I lay it on know. the table like you do the AirPod. Since the beginning, like, Michelle was saying that I was a spy, and I have no idea where that came from. In the Ooh. beginning, I had my AirPod, like, one AirPod in, because I was editing videos, like, while I was walking around. And I guess they thought I was listening in. Their their people. rumor was that you would leave an AirPod in a room with a group of people and then have another AirPod in. And then that AirPod that was in the group of people, that was in the room with a group of people, would pick up audio from everyone else. And you were just listening in on that conversation. So you're saying that was not true? No, I never did that. I mean, I don't know okay. what the purpose would be to do that because I don't know what information I would gain from doing that. But I knew nothing that was going on, to be honest. Okay, guys, so on this week's episode of A&I, y'all had played a game called Most Likely To, and things got, like, kind of a little awkward after you had to reveal your answers to 
the group and some of your housemates. That's right, Markel. So today, we're gonna be playing a game called Least Likely To. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's right, so basically you guys have sticks with each other's heads on them. <laughs> right beside you, you can pick them up right now if you want. So we're gonna make this level of awkwardness even more awkward. I'm just gonna ask you guys a question and you have to show up the face who you think is least likely to do this specific question. Now that you guys have your heads ready, are you ready to play least likely to? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay guys, first question. Who's least likely to become the most famous person on the internet? Three, two, one, <laughs> reveal. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh my God, is that full sweep? Wait, I know because of the hair. Oh, take wow. Two. Who is least likely to tell the truth? Three, two, one. I'll put my ugly ass face right here. Oh, what? Oh. Wait, so Ace was the only one who put Matt. Matt again. Why did you put Matt again? Matt ranked me last. He's not gonna tell me Ooh. anything. Oh, okay, he's not, okay. He's not gonna tell me anything, so no, I'm not, I'm not trusting that. him. Okay, guys, next question. Who is least likely to maintain a stable relationship? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Ooh, so Matt put Eddie, Eddie put Ace, and Ace put Eddie. Eddie, why do you think both of these guys next to you put you? Maybe. Well, okay. It might be true, but yeah. I mean, you know. All right, so moving on to the next question. Who is least likely to stay friends with everyone in the house? Ooh. So think about... Do we have a rave? <laughs> Do we have a rave? Can I get a rave Where's one, the rave? <laughs> I cannot. She's not here because yeah, she's, she's not. Here. Yeah, exactly. Wait, why do you say that? Is Rave not friends with every uh, anyone? She just costs us. All... Yeah, you know she's. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, out. guys. Last to find a question. Who is least likely to put in the most effort? We'll give you some time to think about this. Just kidding. Five. Kidding. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, oh. We got three we different answers for the first time. Matt, why'd you put yourself? Okay, well, to be <laughs> honest, I was kind of chilling, so I feel like I wasn't putting a whole lot of effort in. The bromance, though, putting each other. Tell us about that. What's going on here? Um, because sometimes when stuff gets hard, Eddie likes to just quit, and that's when he comes to me. So I saw that a few times so far, so that's why I uh -uh. Eddie. Go, go to me, go to me. Okay. <laughs> go to me, go to me, go to me. What do you have to say about that? Oh, uh, I don't quit. I. Don't quit. Um, I just, Ace was not in any of this as only I was in like drama or whatever. Well, I hope things didn't get too awkward with you three with that game. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but you guys can put your faces away as we move on. So in order to become the next influencer, you guys need to keep up with the latest trends. That is right, guys. It is not an easy job. It is actually very hard. You have to keep up to what's up to date on TikTok and everything. Which is exactly why we're gonna ask you guys what some of your favorite trends are. So starting with Matt. So what is one TikTok trend that you guys just don't understand at all? All of them. What? <laughs> yeah. You don't got one in particular that you can just like pick out of the bunch real quick? No, nope, <laughs> not in my head. Hey. That's awesome. So what, what trends do you not understand? Uh, small potatoes. I mean, I did the trend, what? but I just don't understand, like, what if we're just lip syncing small potatoes. I feel like or... a lot of, uh, sorry to cut you off. I just feel like a lot of Disney uh, yeah. kids songs yeah. are getting on, like, the Little Einsteins mm -hmm. and Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah like, using Wonder the baby Pants. music and stuff. I mean, they Tato. pop off, but, like. Ace, what about you? I'm gonna say like all the hard dances, like the ones that have a lot of beats and like all those movements. Oh, and all the I Eddie, Eddie, me and Eddie don't really uh -uh. do. We do the simple dance moves on TikTok. And we'll just do the one arm, one arm. The one where you gotta go crazy. Well guys, thank you so much for sharing all your ideas. But this part is where we get the fans involved and guys, we have some juicy questions coming up. Ooh. Guys, if the questions are too controversial, don't blame us. Blame, blame the, the fans. fans. That's oh. right. So don't come after me. try to come for us. <laughs> well, snatch yo. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> snatch yo to pay y'all. <laughs> okay, guys, the first question was left by Esmeral, and the question reads <clears throat> Is Eddie going to ever ask Eileen to be his girlfriend? Oh, Eddie, this question's directed at you, bro. You gotta give us an answer. Uh, no. Oh, no. what? You answered no. so quick. We, we, I know we've we've talked about stuff and everything, but we're just we're literally good friends now. We're like we're we we can't pass that point. 
We thought about it, but. Did y'all decide that after the hit and kiss? Uh. Moving on to the next fan question, Ali asks, why do you guys hate Matt so much? Okay, hate is a strong word. We do yeah. not hate Matt. We love Matt. Where's but... the butt? Oh, oh, he where? literally no. said it. No, 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 no. He said it right Oh my, oh. Eddie, that you are, like, you're done. We, like, we haven't got to like know each other like right now. So, I mean, hopefully further we can. But like, you know, it's just, you know, he's in his own world. We're, uh, you know, it's me, us two, we're in our own world. Everyone's in their own world. And guys, Grace um, wanted to ask, who causes the most drama out of anybody in the house? Yeah, I, I'm gonna answer this one. Cause I, I feel like Maddie does just because she's trying to please everyone and she doesn't know what she's really doing. Like just, she just wants to be everyone's friend, which yeah. is not a bad thing, but with, in a show and like with doing all this stuff, you can't you can't please everyone, and that's why it's causing drama on her part. I feel, I feel and, like it's and mad. Michelle too. Michelle, like if it's if it's not her way, it's no way. She likes to start yeah. stuff. Like any yeah. little thing will take her off, and she goes freaking crazy. So. Oh my lord! Why did I? So, <laughs> I'm so mad? sorry to cut y'all. I thought Michelle was gonna just pop out of the window or something. Uh, What'd you yeah, say, Eddie? Yeah, yeah no, she's gotta, the person to do get that. So, on yeah. you know, we <laughs> actually have Michelle standing uh, back. Oh my god! Uh, I swear, I was like, I like wait, hold on. did they actually pull her? Matt. <laughs> I was gonna say Michelle too, yeah. honestly. That's the only reason I ranked her last, because there was like so much drama and it was honestly kind of scary. And so I was just like, ooh. Well, thank you to all of the fans who left questions for us to answer. And if you didn't get your question answered, don't worry, leave a comment on this episode and we'll try and answer your question next week. But moving on to our last game, Markel, just take it away. You know, well, we call this game Word Association. So last week when you guys had to do your ranking in front of the whole world to see, you didn't have time to filter yourselves. Yeah. That's right, Markel. So we're just going to give you guys names and words, and you have to tell us the first word that comes to mind and make sure you guys have no filter so it can get pretty interesting. Oh, no. And you guys know we don't like to hold back. So the first thing that comes to your mind, say, say it. it. All right, Matt, you are up first. Your first word <coughs> is TikTok. App. Maddie. Friend. Comments. Fun. AirPod. Not mine. <laughs> Here he is! Oh, yes, Matt, good. you oh, are the go. That's, that's good at this game. All right, Eddie, you're up next. All right, what is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word handcuff? Michelle. Rankings. Number one. Michelle. A brat. <sighs> Cheating. No. Period. That was good. Okay, Eddie, Eddie, good. Eddie okay. you did better than what I expected. Yeah. So. <laughs> Eddie, thank you for playing and giving us some juicy answers. Actually, that was a really good round by you. Let's see if Ace can top uh -oh. that, though. Ace, are you ready for your speed rapid round? I mean, I guess. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Your first word is drama. Hate it. Two-faced. Michelle. Matt. Alone. Loner. Naked. Ace. <laughs> Rave. Fake. Oh. Hey! Oh, sh right, right, you did not hey, hold back. You did not. He said. Well, thank you guys so much for being honest in that game. That was a really good game. Give yourselves a round of applause for that game. Woo! But that does conclude your time here in the Vibe Room. No. Which means good thank you all so much at home for watching this episode of Austinist TV's Vibe Room. And thank you guys so much, Matt, Eddie, and Ace for coming on and joining us today on today's segment. Yeah. Well, I know Markel and I had fun, and I hope you guys had fun. And if you did, make sure you guys subscribe to Austin Miss TV's YouTube channel and you hit that bell so that way you get notified every time we post another Vibram episode. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Owen Holt. And I'm Markel Washington, and you are watching Austin Miss TV's Vibram. Bye! Bye, guys! Bye, Bye. What it do next, influencer crew? Ooh, girl, now let's get into some of these features, mama. Let's go. You've been voting me last this entire time, babe. Everything just goes crazy. What the hell is going on? I'm done, this shit.